What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to fix the center console on your LS430. Uh, so pretty common for these consoles not to operate correctly after some old age. Uh, essentially what happens is that the screws in the bottom get loose and so that you're going to have to push the console forward and then press the button for it to open. Uh, pretty quick and easy fix. Uh, you'll only need a couple tools, a short Phillips screwdriver, a long Phillips screwdriver, a 10 millimeter socket, and some extensions, and then a magnet if you drop any of the screws down into the center console. So uh, you're gonna first off want to slide this guy back. Uh, there is a little tray mat down here. Uh, I don't mind mine, one's a little dirty. Uh, two 10 millimeter bolts, you're gonna pull these guys. Easy enough. Slide this guy back forward you're gonna pop this vent out here so now that that guy is off looks like that i ended up just sticking my screwdriver in here kind of just prod up and out it came out really easy there are four bolts and then a screw here you will have to remove these so we will go ahead and do that all right you guys probably gonna be pretty hard to get this lined up with my phone and show you guys at the same time but with your guys' lid open you slide the tray back and then from grabbing on the inside of the box here you're gonna go ahead and lift out there's gonna be a couple clips and tabs kind of holding this guy in but give it enough pressure and this guy will pop up and out my suggestion would be is to kind of lift this box up and out kind of here i'm gonna go ahead and shut shut it just so it doesn't keep opening on me and then i'll bring you guys down here down there those two clips you're gonna go ahead and disconnect those and then your whole console will just pop right out all right, you guys, so I actually just brought this guy inside. Figured it might just make it a little easier since the garage is a little crowded. You're just gonna go through and pop off all of these little screws so that the top here can pop off of the rest of the unit. So I will go ahead and do that. All right, so now that we got all of these screws, including the latch, uh, I will see if I can try and find a link to replace one of these. A lot of times the uh, tip of the latch part here will break off um, but now that we have all the screws out this guy should just pop right out but as you can see there are screws that are even just loose dangling here so that's likely our problem so I'll go ahead and pop this guy apart so I went ahead and got these two guys here and that guy right in there this one here and then I found another one just in the garage that I could use that fit in there so that guy down in there is all tightened down this will flip back closed like so and then you will go ahead and retighten all of these screws back down and, and, and note that I am missing a little uh, Little rubber parts that go in these guys here but uh easy enough so we'll go ahead and zip these along and then we'll get it thrown back in the car all right you guys so we got the console back in already a lot better um you can see closes really nice and just nice and easy pop comes right open gonna go ahead and get the vent down here reinstalled again and then um as well as all of those bolts beforehand so i put this screw in a little bit too tight uh which caused this to not uh you know open and close as easy so if you have that problem with this guy sticking just back that screw out just a little bit you might have to fine tune it just a little bit to your car's liking but uh should be easy enough so uh best of luck